what would I, how would I start to organize all of this? What would I do first? It's hard to know what to do first, but some of the things that I would definitely do is get those task lists in there, in your templates, right? Um, so do your task lists because that's where you're thinking about like the tasks that need to be done. Then I would grab some of those. Yeah, so let's go into settings. Yeah, and then I would probably template some of the emails so that I'm not packing things out. Right. And just a just a just a just a quick interjection here is we have a library of this items, so you can always create your own. And for everything that has a template, you're depending on again when you see this, there's going to be more and more templates that we add to our library that you could just pull in, and then you could modify them as much as you want. Because every firm has different levels of communication, but at yeah. least it gives you a good start of where to go. And the yeah. same thing, there's task templates, email templates, organizer templates. So we're going to have more and more. So if you this little copy from the library button pulls it into your uh, pulls it into your account without you having to do anything. But I think the hardest part is deciding how you want it to work. Right, so it's less the can this work, but what what is my actual process and putting your 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 mind to paper, so to speak. And I think that's that's probably where you know what what you know what what you're good at and 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 how you know maybe you have tips on how how other people can put that to paper. Yeah, either video yourself and then start to peck out the tasks, build the tasks in TaxDome or build them in an Excel file first and then copy and paste them in whatever you need to do. But I think the order of events basically looks exactly like you've got there. It's tasks, emails, organizers, folders, method. Get those templates in, then go on to build out your pipelines. So don't do the pipelines until you've made your way through this system, right? So build out all of your templates. And I like the order that you have the templates. So build out your templates and then go to your pipelines. And then in your pipelines, that's where you put in the other templates that you've already built. So what, what Kelly means by that is, so let's say you can create as many stages as you want. So let's say you create a pipeline. And again, we also have, just to clarify that, we also have a library. So if you, if you start from scratch, you can copy from the library, you can add them and then you can modify them to your needs, right? So you know, uh, however, you know, you can make it as either take herds or modify, make your own. We've got a bunch of other ones, but that allows you to do that. So if we come back to the pipeline, you can, let's say you've made one and so forth for each one, you can add, click add automation and then add all the different automations that you want to happen at each phase. And when, when, when you say automation, again, I'm back to the fact that what you are sending is what you are doing is you are adding actions and task lists to there. 